Okay, so uh, here we are a day later or so. Um, some and uh, just just yesterday, or making this video, I uploaded a video of this G5 booting into Linux, Ubuntu Mate, and just talking about it. And I happened to mention that I've got some PowerPC virtual machines running, most notably a QEMU with KVM and Mac on Linux or Mole. And I was asked to do a video on it. So I will provide, I'll do that video since it's a pretty interesting um, thing. So uh, I just bring up my keyboard and mouse here. And let's, let me just show you that this is the G5. I'll, uh, oops, it is. Uh, try not to cover up the microphone here. If I go to System Tools, uh, Mate System Monitor, and I, as, you, as you can see here, it is Ubuntu Mate 15.10. Uh, and you can see PowerPC 970 AltaVec supported times 2 because there's two processors in here. And uh, you can see resources and processors. And uh, I've got a terminal window here in preparation. Um, but yeah, this is this is if it if it'll unfreeze, it gets a bit. There we go. System system profile. I've got the system profile on benchmark. And again, this is my this is my G5. As you can see here, see power mic power PC. Um, it would be on the processor. There you go. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get on to uh, virtualization. Now, a while back, back in Ubuntu 14.04, I tried this on my Power Mac MDD over there, the G4 MDD with dual 1.42. And I tried for a very long time to get KVM working, but it never worked. Um, it just it just wouldn't work. I tried compiling it, it wouldn't compile. I tried some patches, it wouldn't, you know, patch, it wouldn't compile. Um, I had some help from, uh, I also contacted a friend who's really good at Linux, and we still couldn't figure out. But now I decided to give Ubuntu 15.10 um, a spin, especially as I was able to get uh, Debian uh, working on my Sawtooth. Um, although I didn't get, I didn't play around with KVM on the Sawtooth. But, um, so yeah, I, I, I managed to successfully install Ubuntu Mate, and, and then I went to try KVM, you know, um, I compiled QEMU with KVM support, the latest, uh, uh, 2.5 RC release and it worked. KVM works um, and as you can see here um, here's, I'll start off with QEMU pseudo QEMU uh, system power PC64 this is this is uh, this is emulating a sawtooth Mac 99 as you can see enable KVM which it, what KVM does is it lets QEMU instead of being an emulator it lets it be a virtualizer so instead of having to adapt CPU instructions on the fly, it can just use the, the host CPU directly, which is a lot faster than emulation. But as you can see, Mac 99, 512 megs of RAM, my graphics output, a boot argument for burst mode, my hard drive image, which is 10.4.11, uh, with a kernel I patched so it can run on 604 uh, CPUs, and 603 CPUs, and other unknown power PC CPUs. So like if you've got a, a beige Mac, for example, um, and in this case, I'm emulating a G4, and uh, let's um, show it off. So I've put it under. It brings up. This is the latest release of QEMU uh, at the time of filming, which is 2.5 RC2. As you can see, it's booting up. And uh, I'll get onto Mac onto Linux. Mac on Linux uh, just in a moment. It should be loading. You can hear the fans have ramped up. It should go into boot uh, verbose mode about now, assuming it's not loading all of the uh, kexts. Yeah, um, let's see, should be booting. We'll see. I'll just uh, grab this a bit. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, um, one thing that ten, uh, two point five QEMU two point five fixed across the board, not just in KVM, is that Mac ninety nine, the Mac ninety nine machine, will now boot OS ten. They fixed the ATA bug where it couldn't find the ATA controller or hard disk. And it would just sit there, still waiting for root device, but that's fixed now across the board, both on KVM and on emulation, which is really nice. Although CD emulation is broken, but uh, you can get around that by if you follow this drive in uh, instead of uh, you drive path your ISO, and instead of disk you put CD, and uh, for your index you just put uh, um, I think index zero through two work. I'm not sure, but I, I know like if I was just now want to specify a, a CD here, instead of doing index one, I do index zero. But uh, yeah, um, so as you can see, it's booting up. Uh, just get that into focus. You can see um, Keylogo ATA. 
uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, memory uh, the I/O controller of the Sawtooth is because this is emulating a Power Mac uh, 3.1 with a G4 in it this time. But as you can see, it's loading. It's a tad slow, but it's much faster than emulation. Um, then I'll uh, fire up uh, Mac on Linux after this. Uh, one thing Mac on Linux can do that, that I haven't been able to get this to do is boot from a hard drive in this machine. Like I got a machine on this, I've got a laptop hard drive in here with a 10.2.8 for G5s installed. And uh, while QEMU, if I specify uh, slash dev slash HDB, it can't see the hard drive. It just when I it can't see the hard, it can't boot from it. If I specify it and then boot from 10.11, 10.4.11, 10.4.11 can see it fine. But QEMU's open firmware implementation has a bit of trouble with it. But Mac on Linux can boot fine from a, a, an actual real hard drive and not just an image. But as you can see here, it's loading the Windows server. I'll just try not to get my hand on the microphone, sorry. Um, I'll just bring my mouse in, capture the mouse, get it into focus. Uh, we'll be coming into it pretty soon. Um, yeah, oh, one thing I tried is on on Emaculation, which is a uh, uh, forum where people run around, you know, emulating Macs. Um, they managed to get OS9 to boot into QEMU. They got it booting somewhat. While that works on the emulator, last I tried, I tried it with their custom firmware and stuff. Um, I could not get OS9 to load on QEMU using KVM. It loads fine in emulation mode, but doesn't load fine. Uh, when I'm virtualizing it, but uh, yeah. So here we are. We're at the desktop. Um, as you can see, my mouse, pretty nice. Uh, I'll just bring it up, get it in focus. There's, there is some graphical glitches. I think that's through the SDL. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll bring it up. Just bring up about this Mac. Uh, come on. Get it into focus. There we go, see? Mac OS X 10.4.11, 1 GHz PowerPC G4, it thinks it's a 1 GHz G4 with 5 12 megs of RAM. Click on more information. So opening system profiler. While that's opening, I'll, uh, yeah. Um, but here you go. Power Mac G4, AGP graphics, Power Mac 3.1, PowerPC G4, this is a 7400, 1 GHz. And uh, I just go to graphics and displays. Um, as you can see, QEMU VJ. There's no, there's no graphical acceleration. Just a basic frame buffer. Um, ADA. Just take this takes a while. It just takes a moment to load. It's a tad pokey. Just bring that. Up. It says Des Ross Power Mac G5 up there because uh, when I made this image, this I made this image quite a while ago. I created it originally on a G5 and then made an image from that. Which is the base 10.4.11 install that I then patched with my kernel. The patched kernel was not necessary, it's just something I did for another thing I was trying. Um, but yeah, there you go, 6 gigabyte hard drive image. So the, yeah, this is um, this is Mac OS 10.4.11 running in a PowerPC virtual machine on a PowerPC G5 host, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there you go. Now I'll drag a window around. There you go. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, shut this down now, and I'll bring up Mac on Linux. So if I just hit shut down, uh, once this is done shutting down, I'll bring Mac on Linux up. Mac on Linux, I got running, um, on one of the Ubuntu threads, uh, somebody managed to patch, um, Mac on Linux to use KVM, and therefore it works on PowerPC 64 hosts, like the Amiga X1000, the, 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 that new Amiga uh, machine, uh, with the, with, yeah, um, and so it runs on that, and it also runs on G5s, they didn't mention much of G5s, but I, they, somebody had compiled a pre-made uh, .deb with the patches, so I installed it and configured it, you have to just configure a couple files, and it does indeed run fine on a G5, I'll just get them to focus, and once it shuts down, I'll show that. Okay, so I'll just clear the screen here and I'll just bring it up from my previous. Um, okay, here we go. So I'm going to start mol. Now, one thing to note is it can be quite crash happy at times, so it might take a couple uh, tries to get it to boot. We'll see what happens. But uh, here we go. As you can see, it's loading. One thing about QE, uh, one thing about Mac and Linux is it, it will tell. Um, yeah, there you go. It's crashed again. Um, 
as you can see here, it's a bit crash happy. I just kill the emulator. But uh, Mac on Linux will pass the C the host's bus speed and CPU speed uh, to the guest. Um, and if if my G5 is running in if if the processor is are in sleeping mode, you know 1.3 gigahertz into 2 gigahertz because I've got speed stepping, it'll say 1.3 gigahertz the processor info. But but it also sometimes says 2 gigahertz because you know it depends what state the CPUs are in. But uh, let's try again. Let's see if I can get this to work. Uh, it takes some take. Like I said, it takes a few tries. Let's see. Nope. I think it's crashed again. Like I said, uh, it'll get going eventually. I've run into this issue a few times. I used to kill it. Um, I'll close a three and open terminal window just to uh, system tools. Of course, it doesn't play nice when I'm uh, trying to get it to work on video. Let's see if I can do it again. I'll type in my password. Uh, there we go. This is using KVM. This has been patched to use KVM. Um, and now it's frozen again. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit pokey. Um, I'll keep, I'll bear with me while I get this to work. Um, come on. It should work. I mean, I had it working in the past. If if everything else fails, I can just send you a screen. I'll just show a screenshot because I did take a screenshot for this running key bench. Um, uh, one second. Okay, I'll let's see what happens if I try and pass my real hard drive because I currently got this to. Oh, come on. There we go. That was a bit. Um, I'll just I'll just uh bring up the configuration file. Where is it? There it is. Um, and I would just pass my real hard drive since it doesn't seem to be playing nice with the tiger image I have. Like I said, it's pretty pokey, but uh, uh, it should be here. You can see that's the path to my um, to my 10.4 image. This will boot 10.4, but the I'll just um, uh, slash dev slash sdb. Ah, that should be it. Let's get it into lot. There we go. Um, and I'll just control um, control X. Yes. Okay, there we go. And I'll, I'll bring up. Let's see if I can start it again. Um, there we go. Okay, this in this case is booting 10.2.8 that I I actually managed to install on this G5, which is pretty awesome because it required 10. to run 10.2.8 uh, only ran on Power Mac 7.2s and required a special build. But I got hold of that special build and I managed to get it working on my 7.3, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, it's booting. It's cute. Uh, Mac on Linux is uh, uh, a bit faster than Kiwi Emu, just a bit gets a bit higher Geekbench scores, but uh, yeah. As you can see, we're in there. Um, it should be loading the desktop, and there we are. We're in, um, in this case, 10.2. This is in Mac on Linux. Oops, it took it full screen. I did not want that. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, there we are. I just drag a window across, and just yeah, there we. Go. Okay, I'll just close some windows and I'll bring up about this Mac. Um, if I go to about this Mac, you can see that, yeah, in this case, 2 GHz PowerPC G3. My processors must have been running in uh, high speed mode at the time it calculated the CPU speed. There you can see PowerPC 10.2.8 G5, and I'll bring up more, more information. And, uh,. As you can see, AAPL MOL, Mac on Linux, 2 GHz, 1000 um, megahertz bus speed, uh, 10.2.8. But uh, yeah, this is this is Mac on Linux running on a G5, a G5 host uh, virtualization. It's a PowerPC virtual machine. You don't normally hear about those, you know. <laughs> normally when people say virtualization, they think of x86 virtualization, like Windows running on Mac. But uh, yeah, here we are. 
um, Mac running on Linux and PowerPC. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, I hope this is. Um, I, I hope this is what you wanted. You know, they, they asked for a video on it, and uh, I'm I'm willing to uh, supply said video. So yeah, um, this is uh, QEMU and Mac on Linux running on my Pal Mac G5 in Linux Ubuntu Mate uh, 15.10. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is light bulb fun and lights out. Goodbye.